welcome to Absent Tears Gaming. As you already know, my name is Bell, and here are this month's free PlayStation Plus games for February 2021. The PS5's free game is Destruction All Stars. Dazzle the crowds and create chaos as you run, ram, and slam in vehicular combat. Destruction All Stars will be available for two months until the 5th of April. Unfortunately, since it's a new game, we have no ratings on the platinum difficulty, but I'll throw out an estimate of my own. I'd say about 4 out of 10 strictly for the grinding of the odd few trophies. Same again, we do not know how long it will take to get that platinum. In Destruction All Stars, you'll find yourself with 16 superstars to choose from, all of which come with their special character abilities and a hero vehicle unique to them only. Four great game modes are available using timing, tactics, and skill to cause as much carnage behind the wheel or create havoc and test your parkour skills on foot. Now, to get to the absolute edge in free for all battles or team challenges, you aim to become the Global Destruction Federation champion. The game supports PS5's game help feature. This gives you hints and tips to become the ultimate destructive machine without the need of leaving the game. The game looks pretty cool. If I had PS5, I'd be all over this like a fly to shit or a moth to a bull. Destruction All Stars gets a good 8.8 .8 out of 10 for myself. Our first PS4 free game, which is also available on PS5, is Control Ultimate Edition. As a platinum difficulty of 4 out of 10, approximate time to platinum is 25 hours plus. Control is an action-adventure set in a dystopian and supernatural Federal Bureau of Control. What is this you ask? It's a clandestine government agency whose goal is to study and control objects and phenomena which defy scientific law. So to most, that sounds pretty boring, right? Don't be fooled. The game is very odd, but it does get you lost in this odd war world. It's an incredible sense of place. So, the job is to infiltrate the FBC as Jesse Fadden and her blue spirit body. The FPC's headquarters seems like a drab office building at first, whilst in search of Jesse's answers to her past. However, Control quickly reveals what lies behind those concrete, boring, and ever shifting interior walls. Even within the first chapter, you can find yourself becoming the janitor's assistant or the new acting director of the Bureau. Jesse does have psychic powers, telekinesis for example. With a wave of hand, you can send tables or a slab of concrete flying towards your foes or the destructive environment. Control is set in a strange, paranormal world that you will feel the need to explore. Jesse's personal story seems a little like an afterthought, but there's enough to Control's world that will keep you invested in uncovering every dark secret in the game. It gets a decent 8.8 out of 10 from my friends at LGN. Right, onto our third game, Concrete Genie. As a platinum difficulty of 2, so it's fairly easy. Approximate time plan, a nice and simple and short 6 hours, possibly 8 hours, depending on how creative you get. Concrete Genie, you play as a character called Ash, young boy with a passion of doodling in his sketchbook. A group of bulls steal his book and rip out the pages. This forces Ash to go on a quest to retrieve them all. While doing so, he discovers a magic paintbrush, which is the size of a tennis racket and has the power of cleansing the corrupted seaside town of Denska from the darkness and urban decay that is overrunning. Anything in the game can be on a black canvas for Ash's living drawings, for example, across the side of rundown buildings. Trees sprout and grow, 2D waterfalls park from rooftops onto bobbing ponds. Stars sprinkle themselves across brick black skies like dropped glitter. You will find yourself bringing masterpieces to life, and it is fairly easy to do so. You don't need any artistic ability at all. Concrete Gene also comes with a VR experience mode, using two new controls to pay and create to the world's content. The game is pretty easy, but the more important part is to explore your creative ideas and new designs. Concrete Gene is a decent 8 out of 10. Okay, so all three PlayStation games will be available from PS Plus on Tuesday the 2nd of February 2021. Remember, it's your last chance to bag yourself January's PS Plus game titles or at least add them to your PlayStation library to not lose them forever. Man Eater for the PS5, Shadow for the Tomb Raider and Greedfall for the PS4. All three games will be available until midnight on the 1st of February 2021. Try not to forget. So, as always, what's your thoughts on this month's free PlayStation Plus games? Don't forget to show your support by slapping that thumbs up button, subscribing, hitting that bell icon, or sharing across social media if you haven't already. We now have 3,000 subscribers, so you're doing pretty good, and I thank you all.
I'm Bill from Absent Tears Gaming. Thank you for watching. Enjoy getting creative or causing carnage. Either way, it's all good. Peace out, guys.